It's the visit that has launched more than a thousand verbal and diplomatic barbs. Nancy Pelosi, the third most powerful U.S. politician, touched down in Taiwan on Tuesday, leaving China bristling. Taiwan is self-ruled, but China views it as part of its territory and insists it will eventually be reclaimed. This was the ominous warning from China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi, speaking through a translator. These behaviours that go against the trend of times will not change the international consensus of one China and will not change the historic trend that Taiwan will inevitably return to the motherland. Those who play with fire will not come to a good end and those who offend China will be punished. China's top diplomat in St. John's, Ambassador Zhan Yangling, may not have used such explosive rhetoric during her interview with ABS News on Wednesday, but she's equally firm Pelosi's visit has ratcheted up tensions between the U.S. and China. I must say it's a quite serious violation of the One China principle, which is the basis of the diplomatic relations between China and the United States. The One China policy recognizes only one Chinese government, meaning a recognition of formal ties with Beijing and not Taiwan. Ambassador Zhang calls for consistency in the U.S.'s recognition of the One China policy. Well, Speaker Pelosi is the incumbent leader of the U.S. Congress, and she is the number three person of the U.S. government. So her visit to Taiwan, in whatever form and for whatever reason, is a major political provocation. It's a very wrong signal to Taiwan independent separatist forces and wantonly violated China's sovereignty and territorial integrity and is gravely escalating the tensions and undermining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. In contrast to the scolding given to the U.S., Ambassador Zhang has praised Antigua and Barbuda for its consistent stance. Ever since the establishment of diplomatic ties between our two countries, the Antigua and Barbuda government have been sticking to the One China policy, which is very appreciated from the Chinese side. Ever since the establishment of diplomatic ties between our two countries, we have been respecting each other's territorial integrity and independence and sovereignty. China has been Antigua and Barbuda's most important development partner.